Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Today we are looking at Ant Number 4 from Eric Larson. This beautiful cover featuring a Savage Dragon, Ant, Enter the Dragon. Can't wait to show it to you guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button. Let's get right into it. Notice the uh, image, the iconic image logo here. It's Image's 30th anniversary. Can you believe it? 30 years of Image Comics. That's pretty freaking amazing. And they said it wouldn't last. Well, I don't know if they said that or not, but Image has definitely, uh, was groundbreaking at the time and has definitely paid its dues and had many an evolution. And Eric Larson is a founding father and a staple, and I've always loved his branch of the Image universe. Uh, Savage Dragon, Freak Force, um, uh, Deadly Duo, Star, Dart, um... Vanguard. I could go on and on. Anyway, uh, Ant, issue number four. This continues to be one of the best new series out there. Um, Eric Larson acquired the rights to Ant like several years ago, like five, six years ago or something, and finally um, just started doing a ongoing series to sort of reintroduce Ant um, and take stuff from her original series uh, that creator Mario Goli Incorporated and sort of put his own twist on it. I feel like, um, you know, it was very psychological and very like um, sort of internal and heady. And um, Eric Larson's doing a great job in like creating a lot of intrigue, intrigue, trying to like give it some physicality, I feel in a way. And he's doing it through the lens of this very fun, like, traditional superhero comic book. She has this great rogues gallery. Great design. Obviously, there was an appeal here. Um, or else, why would Larson want to acquire the character? You know, Mario Gulli wasn't really doing anything with her. So, it's nice to see the character in action and being handled so well. And by Eric Larson's story art color, he's coloring it, so that's pretty ambitious. Mike Torres doing the color flats. Jack Morelli, um, classic vintage comic book letterer. I love the lettering font in here. It looks great. It, it does look classic. It adds to that element of uh, classic superhero comic books. So I really love that. Um, Josh Eichhorn enjoys savory party dips. Well, I mean, who doesn't? Based in part on the work of Mario Gulli. So Eric does explain in the back and shows like clips, clips from, um, you know, the original series and then, you know, sort of how he revisits and his twist and stuff. And it's very cool. You got to love, <clears throat> you know, this is very, she's very Spider-Man in a way, just like, you know, the almost monochromatic bodysuit, almost like black body Spider-Man, but with the cool antennas. I love it. I just, I love the character. I love the concept. I love the villains. The colors look great. Eric Larson is using this more like European style um, with uh, line work. I mean, still inking his own work and coloring for God's sake. So um, just not doing like a heavy, uh, like a lot of hatching. And, um, but I love it. It's like a departure. It's kind of fun because you know, you get his tr traditional style and dragon and then you get this and I love it because, um, you know, the Eric Larson this just shines through as far as, you know, the obvious. I mean, if that isn't an Eric Larson woman, I don't know who is. <laughs> and her name's the Mind Drainer, which I guess is an original character because, but it, it's so like, this goes to show how Eric Larson is like the perfect person to guide this ship because, um, you know, he has such a great, uh, fun, like villains, like, <laughs> that just go right along like this. Like, a lot of them could easily have been, you know, created by an eight-year-old, but that's kind of, like, the fun of it. And this is this is cool here. This is, like, so classic. And I love it because this shows off the design of the character, and we're getting this, like, almost Spawn McFarlane, um Is that a word, McFarlane? Maybe I just coined the phrase. I don't know, but I'll take it. McFarlane cape there, very Spawn. Almost Batman from when he did Batman, which was amazing. But um, it's weird because, uh, you know, very different. But McFarlane and Larson are almost distant cousins in a way. You know, like, if you compare, like, their Spider-Man and... Oh, 
Oh, I would. I don't feel like Eric Larson ever did like a big Batman book, and boy, would I love to see that. Like, come on, Batman Dragon, uh, drawn by Eric Larson. That would be freaking amazing. Make that happen, powers that be. The colors are just really, really beautiful. I love it. It's funny because uh, the, <laughs> this is a variant cover. Like the other cover is identical except for the blue is green here. And I way prefer the blue, especially against the red because it kind of, um, you know, makes me want to believe that if I put on a 3D pair of glasses, it would turn color. I don't even want to spoil the story, but something crazy happens here that is like, giving you like nuggets of like what exactly like is going on with this chick and like you know what her powers are and stuff I do I love her as like a, a main character I mean look at this great panel here I love that that looks so good what a put now that's a practical civilian identity right there and then enter the dragon as promised on the cover I love it very uh, reminiscent, and I feel like <clears throat> someone had mentioned that Rob Haynes, like, uh, Daredevil Ninja was a big influence on Eric Larson's initial use of this kind of pared-down style, but, I mean, it could have been anybody, like, you know, Mobius, or, um, I, he mentioned someone in the letters page, which I need to look, because I want... This is so iconic. That could be, like, a poster right there. I feel like that might be an homage to the original... Um, and like Pose or whatever. It could be Larson's original. Either way, it's very, very cool and I love it. And this is funny. That's like such classic dragon action right there. And these colors just rock. I really love the colors. It just, you know, it's like very Eric Larson. Like these, the ant, just the way she's colored, the way the reflections in her costume and the way it shines and everything. She just like pops out of the, each page in some way and I love it. Oh, this is an homage to John Byrne, either doing a page completely black or completely white and um, screwing the readers out of art. I forgive you, Eric Larson, because this Ant is so freaking cool. It is so good, you guys. If you're not reading Ant, I highly, highly recommend it. We're only on issue four, so it's a great jumping on point. It has a great letters page, as any Eric Larson joint does. Um, here's some of the original Ant, and I have to say, like, it really makes me want to run out and go on eBay and see, like, if I can get some of these back issues, because I don't, haven't, like, read it, and the art looks so killer, I love it. Um, that is so cool. Thank you for including a black and white art, I love that, that looks so great. So much to do. look. It's, so this is comp it's interesting because I'm assuming this is like the dragon cover because it's more rendered. There's a lot of hatching. Even the signature is thicker. And then you go to this cover with just the simpler line work, and even the signature is uh, thinner and more pared down. Interesting. Very cool, right? So cool. Anyway, cannot wait for. Issue number five of Ant to come out. Oh, and look at this gorgeous ass cover. It's like, I don't know, remind me of Ditko in a way. This is dragon, freaking spawn, ant looking cool as usual. Very Kirby sort of act like Marvel, like um, thing happening here. Classic like 60s Marvel. I love it with the font of the logo. Easily one of my favorite books. Cannot wait to find out what this character is all about. She looks totally up my alley. Love her. Love Ants Rogues Galleries. Shaping up so good. I love it. Keep going, Eric. This is such a great book. I hope it's selling like gangbusters. Buy this book, people. Subscribe to my channel. Hit like. Share my content. And I'll bring you more later.